Hey, what is going on guys? So I got an awesome review for you today for a mini smart projector. Take a look at the size of this. Now this right here is literally about the same size as my Samsung Galaxy Note 8 here. It's just a little bit thicker as you can see here, but almost the same size in regards to length. And I have a couple other projectors here. Look how big this bad boy is. Look how small this is. And again, this is a smart mini projector. Here's another projector I have. Look at the size difference between these two here. Now the max video resolution is 1080p HD and it can go up to 170 inches. So basically my arm length from my fingertip here to my fingertip here is 65 inches. You can go up to 170 inches. Now this mini projector comes loaded with a bunch of different apps. It has like Netflix on there, uh, YouTube. Of course you can download other apps as well. Now this can also hold the charge for up to two hours just like this with no wires or anything hooked up to it. Let me go ahead and play some Netflix on here really fast for you. Look at this guys, totally wireless. Now, what else can you do with this? Well, you guys have an iPhone, guess what? You can AirPlay or screen mirror wirelessly using this. So if you have presentations for work, or maybe you wanna show your photos or videos, directly from your iPhone. You can project this wirelessly right to here, right against the wall. Also, of course, you can also screen mirror on Android. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in this video. Now, what else is cool about this little bad boy right here? It also has Bluetooth connectivity. That's right, so you can go ahead and you can, instead of using the little speakers on here, what you can do is if you have a Bluetooth speaker, you can go ahead and hook it up to this. I have Bluetooth headphones right here. I use this at night. Bam, no problem. Now this also has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So if you have your earbuds here with the wires, you can plug it right into this bad boy, no problem. You have headphones with a 3.5 millimeter jack, no problem. This is of course just in case if you don't want it to be too loud so other people don't hear it. So what I'm gonna do is show you up close all the different ports on here first. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you the picture quality. I'm gonna play some YouTube videos, some Netflix. I'm also going to AirPlay my iPhone. I'm gonna go ahead and screen mirror my Android phone. Oh, here's another thing too. Let's say you go camping and on a full charge, you can basically play a movie up to two hours. What happens when the battery runs dead and you don't have any outlet to plug it into? Well, guess what? You guys can actually use a power bank and charge this baby up. Actually, you can charge it up and you can play the same time as well. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this and I'll hook up a bunch of devices and show you what this bad boy can do. Okay, so first thing, let me just show you the box that it comes with. So here's the box right here. Here is the actual mini projector here. You can take a look at that. It does have a USB port and HDMI cable as well. I'll go ahead and hook this up to my laptop as well, but you have a USB here, which you can also hook up to your mouse or keyboard. And like I said, it also has Bluetooth. So if you have like a Bluetooth keyboard or mouse, you can hook this up uh, via Bluetooth connectivity as well. So it does come with the remote here. Of course, it doesn't come with the actual batteries. And this is just a basic remote here. You have your volume up and down, mute button. You have a little mouse button here where you can actually move the mouse using this remote as well. You have to use these. Here, you can see these two buttons here. And these are basically, I forget what it's called, but if you have the um, mini projector kind of slanted upwards, or like downwards, the picture might come in kind of slant it like this or send it like this. So you would use these buttons here to make it so it lines up perfectly vertical. And it does come with a instructions manual. Also, you get a little tripod mount here. You can connect it on here, but this is universal tripod adapter here. So any tripod would work on this as well. You also get a wall adapter here. But if you don't have a wall adapter, you can always use this as well. You can just plug this into the mini projector and then you can use this one. You can plug this one into your USB multi-port charger or also, like I said, if you have like a power bank or something like that, you can just connect that right into here to charge this projector as well. Now taking a closer look at the mini projector itself, you can see here on the front, we have the lens right here. And if you look on the sides here, you have your focus wheel here. On the bottom here, we have some air vents. We also have the tripod adapter right here. 
And if I look on the back here, you can see that you have a SD card reader. If you have photos or videos or movies or anything on SD card, you can slide that in there. You have a USB port here if you want to connect your keyboard or mouse using a cable. But again, don't forget, this has a Bluetooth technology too. So if you have a Bluetooth mouse or keyboard, you can just connect, connect to it via Bluetooth. Here's your power plug here. Here's your 3.5 mic jack. Just in case you don't want to use your Bluetooth headphones or you don't have any, you can go ahead and use a standard earphones or headphones that have a 3.5 millimeter jack. You also have a HDMI port here, which you can connect directly to your computer. And I'm going to show you how to hook that up as well. And here are the little speakers. So why don't we go ahead and get down to the real business. I'll show you what this bad boy can really do, all right? So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and power it up. And the power button is right here. If you're going to press and hold for like one second, let this go ahead and turn on. And the fan is really not loud at all, and that's because the fan is actually very, very small, okay? I'm going to go ahead and set this projector down right here, so it's about 10 feet away, okay, from the wall. All right, so it's currently on the wall here. I think that's probably about 65 inches, but like I said, it goes up to like uh, 170 inches, so it can blow up more than two times the size of this. Let me just go ahead and stand over here, just to give you like an idea. And you can, and you can see here, I'm standing here. And uh, yeah, this is probably about 65 inches. Again, it'll go up to 170 inches, more than two times the size of this. So I have the remote right here, and you can see we have a lot of apps already preloaded. We have like Chrome. We have this Happy Cast that we're going to need to screen mirror some phones. We have the settings here. We also have the Play Store if you want to download more apps. We do have Netflix already pre-installed on here as well. We have YouTube here. And also there's like a little mouse button on the remote. If I click it, you can see that the mouse is right there. And if I, I can go ahead and move it around, I'm not sure if you can see the little mouse like moving around there. It also has a USB port here too. So if I have a mouse that's wired, I can go ahead and connect that. Let me go ahead and connect the mouse in here really fast. Anyways, my, my mouse here is plugged in and you can see, I'm hoping that you can see that little mouse like moving around. And while it's plugged in, I can also use my remote if I wish. And now I'm using my remote. Again, you can see the mouse right here. So let's go ahead and play YouTube first right off the uh, mini projector here. But remember, this is a smart mini projector. So if you want to play YouTube videos or Netflix or whatever directly from the mini projector, you have to hook it up to the same Wi-Fi network as in your house, okay? So here's a YouTube right here and... Let's go ahead and search for one of my videos so I don't get any kind of copyright. Hey, what is going on everybody? So in a previous video, I showed you guys all of my superhero spinners and in this video, I'm gonna show you all of my favorites, okay? Ooh, yeah. And let me go ahead and mute that and don't forget, like I said, that it has a 3.5 millimeter jack so we can use wired headphones or earphones. We can also use a Bluetooth headphone or speakers. Let me just go ahead and hook up one of my Bluetooth speakers to it right now because the sound quality is so much better when I use this bad boy right here. This one is super, super cool. I, actually, this is probably my favorite out of all of these here, okay? All right, let me go ahead well, and know, mute, actually, mute this right now. Here. You know what, let me go ahead and play a quick Netflix video as well. Let me go back to the home screen here. And we're gonna go into Netflix. Okay, let me go ahead and put that on mute right now. Let me pop all the lights here and let's do this. Let me go ahead and connect this just to demonstrate to you how I can hook this up directly to my laptop. I'll go ahead and use my MacBook. So here's my MacBook here. I'm going to hook it through um, via HDMI. It doesn't come with the HDMI cord, so you have to have your own. Let me go ahead and hook this up into my MacBook here. Of course, this will work if you have a regular Windows laptop as well. And then on the back of the mini projector here, I'll plug this into right here. 
Okay, so I have my MacBook hooked up to it right now. I'm going to shut the lights off. I'll just randomly click something here. And you can see right there. Okay, so in order to AirPlay an iPhone, I need to go to this app right here. It says Happy Cast. Let me click on that. Then let me go to my iPhone 6 here. Okay, so let me go ahead and swipe up on my iPhone here. I'm gonna go ahead and select AirPlay mirroring. And then I see this Cast J1 down here. Let me go ahead and click on that. Give it a second here and bam, we are in business guys. Check this out. You have any presentation or documents or PDF you wanna show at work? or you wanna go ahead and display photos and videos right to the big screen. And here's some photos right here. Of course I can zoom all the way in like this as well. Let me zoom back out. All right, so let's go ahead and hook up my Android phone. Okay, so now I have my Android phone here. This is a Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Now, in order to screen mirror a Android phone, you have to go to a different app here. And let me shut the lights off. And it's going to be this one here called Wi-Fi Display. Let me go ahead and click on that. And now on my Samsung Galaxy Note 8 phone, I'm going to go into my screen mirroring option, which they make it difficult on here. They call it smart view so give me one second here okay and right away it's connecting without even me doing anything voila guys we are back in business again now from here of course we can view photos videos we can watch youtube netflix directly from my phone as well but let's do something different on this phone here why don't we go ahead and play a game let me go ahead and play some traffic rider All right, let me just go a little bit more again. Anyways, you pretty much get the message here. I'm going to go ahead and crash right now, okay? Yeah, let's do this right here. Yeah. Just kidding. Right here. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Mm, perfect. Well, there you guys go. That was a quick review demonstration, but I absolutely really do love this little mini projector. As a matter of fact, I've been using this for about like a week and a week and a half now every day. And how I've been using this is I would put this next to my bed like this so the projector is pointing directly up and then I would use my Bluetooth headphones so I can lay down and watch until I actually fall asleep. Anyways, uh, again, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, watch some of my other videos, and I will see you guys on the next one.